we're going to look at some Eldon Shamblin style now, and we're going to go up to the key of A to do this. Uh, the reason was that the Playboys played Milk Cow Blues in the key of A. I've gotten what I'm going to show you here. Uh, I've seen a concert video of uh, Eldon at a Playboys reunion gig sometime, I think, in the early 80s or middle 80s. And uh, he has about three or four choruses of it where you can kind of see him uh, playing. He's, sometimes it just looks like his hands are flailing around. But by looking at it a bunch of times and by sort of using his instructional video that's now out of print uh, as a guide to uh, things that I know that Eldon did, what I've come up with I think is a decent composite of uh, the way that Eldon was playing it or did play it. And so we're going to go to the key of A. Uh, the other reason for doing it in A is he does a lot of stuff on the four chord, uh, like on that position D chord on the, uh, the third fret. If we're in the key of G and you're, the four chord is C, you're going to run out of some room and have to use open strings, which is not the end of the world, uh, but uh, it'll work better, I think, for demonstration purposes if we look at it in the key of A. show you what I just played. It starts off with an A ninth chord. You all know how to play that. It's a held note, two beats there. An A seventh chord uh, with the note E as the bottom note. Then jumps up to the ninth fret and he plays an A chord. A chord there is the same shape as you would have if you had a C chord down here and you refingered it so you left your index finger free to bar the uh, E string, high E, we're not really playing it, but also to cover that uh, G string there. And then we're going to have it available as we, as we uh, move down. So we've got it draped over and covering the A string too, but is the first chord. The second thing he's playing, he really is just playing most of the time the note G there, uh, but he leaves his index finger draped over there, and that gives you the next two higher strings, the ninth fret on the D and the G string gives you the note B, which would be the ninth of an A dominant chord, and the E, which would be the fifth of an A dominant chord, and so you can either play a little chord there, uh, or you've got some insurance in case you hit more strings than you intend to. Uh, you don't want to hit that B string, that'll be a G sharp. You got a G down here, and you don't want that G sharp up there. The next thing is the F sharp minor chord, which everybody knows how to play, just like an A minor chord, except taken up there. Uh, and he does appear to be playing F sharp minor and not as a seventh, not as an F sharp minor seventh chord. And then back down to the uh, eight seventh chord with the E in the root in the bass. The next little phrase, back to our A ninth chord. A ninth. Next chord is a G chord. Uh, and that is a sp spelled from the low E string. The 7th fret on the low E. Skip the A. The G note is the 5th fret of the D string. And the note D is the 7th fret of the uh, G string and you mute or don't play the other two. This playing a over a dominant type chord, uh, the a major chord whose root is a whole step below, uh, is a pretty common thing in Eldon's playing, and of course you see it elsewhere as well. The uh, G chord, the G note is the seventh of the chord, the B would be the ninth, the D is sort of extraneous, it would be an eleventh and is a dissonant note. You don't play it a lot, but it does add a little bit of, of color uh, to the thing. And I just would say it just works as a passing chord there. So, A ninth, 
G, A, or A seventh, and back to our A ninth. So we've got. up the same one we looked at in the Freddie Green style chords, uh, a, a chord, G chord, B sharp diminished, and an A chord there, that same shape is there. And so now we're on to the D chord part, starting off with a D ninth. There's a C chord uh, with the root on the e, e string. Again, you have that same sort of principle. You've got the E that would be the ninth as to the uh, D chord. Uh, you've got a G which is a little bit dissonant. You've got the note C which would be the seventh. If you happen to hit that E up there, well that's fine too. D seventh, same as a C seventh, only slid up there. Then a C six, I mean a D six. That would be exactly the same as an A minor chord there if you left your, in, your pinky free and hit that C note third fret on the, uh, the A string, slide that up two frets, and it's a D6. So we've got D ninth, C, D seventh, D six, another D seventh chord. This one has the seventh, the, uh, uh, the C note in the root of the chord. This is a chord that Eldon liked a lot and he utilized. Uh, it's spelled from the A string, you don't play the E string. From the A string, the third fret is the C, the fourth fret on the D string is the F sharp, the second fret on the G string is the fifth of the chord, the A, and you've got the root of the chord, the D, there on the B string. B minor, same function as the F sharp minor that we had our little run up, up, up here. Then D seventh, this time with the note A on the bottom, the fifth in the bottom, and then play it with the uh, root, the D in the bottom. So we've got on the D chord, D ninth, C, D seventh, D sixth, D seventh, B minor, D7th with the A in the root, D7th with the uh, D in the root.